Hello and welcome. So first of all, thanks a lot for your support during my absence and your kind messages. I really appreciate it. In this video we are building an interactive financial dashboard enabling a comparison of stocks based on their sector and fundamentals. Let's start with guiding you through how this dashboard is working. So I took the Dow Jones, so everything you see in this dashboard is limited to companies listed in Dow Jones, but you can take your home index, the S&P 500 or whatever you prefer. So as you can see, you can pick a sector here. So for example, industrials, financial services, healthcare, technology and so on. And here you can pick your fundamental metric. So dividend yield, price earnings ratio and so on. I just took four examples here, but again, this is also extendable. So let's take an example. If I want to check the trading price earnings ratio of technology stocks, I'm picking technology here and trading price earnings ratio here. And we can see that Salesforce has the highest trading price earnings ratio while Intel has the lowest price earnings ratio. Or if we are taking a look at the dividend yield, we see that IBM pays the highest dividend while Apple pays the lowest dividend. Before we are starting to better follow along, I would recommend to check out the videos on Streamlit, Fundamental Analysis of Stocks and on SQLite and Python. I will link the videos in the video description. Okay, so in this part we are getting fundamental information for the Dow Jones stocks and we are storing this information in a SQLite database. As you see, I already did some stuff here, so I imported some necessary libraries. We need SQL Alchemy to create a SQLite database. We need Y Finance to get fund fundamental information for a particular stock and we need pandas for data handling. I already fetched the Dow Jones tickers here by reading in a Wikipedia table and transforming a column from this table to a list. So we are ending up with this list here containing the Dow Jones ticker symbols. And in the next step, we want to get the fundamental information for all those ticker symbols here, right? So first of all, we are creating an empty data frame and this data frame we will populate with fundamental information. So we are iterating for ticker in tickers and we're just going over the ticker symbols here, right? And now I'm creating a variable, which I'm just calling var. You can call it whatever you like. Use the Y finance library and create a ticker object here by providing the particular ticker. So in the very first iteration, that would be 3M here, right? And we're using the info here, which is just providing us a lot of information. I've covered that in detail in my fundamental analysis of stocks. So this variable is a dictionary right now, and I want to transform that to a data frame. So I'm creating a new variable here frame, and I'm just using the data frame uh, function and apply that on my variable here, bar. Okay, and with that, I'm just getting a data frame containing all my uh, fundamental information here. So I just have to append this to my empty data frame. So I'm using df is df.append and I'm appending this frame. All right, so let's run that. And this will take some time, right? So we are pulling a lot of information here and this will take uh, I don't know how long exactly, but I assume like one or two minutes here. So if you are taking a broader index like the S&P 500, this can take really long, right? So probably 10 minutes, right? So while this is running, we are creating an engine to connect to SQLite. So I'm creating an engine here by defining the engine variable here and then use the create engine function from SQL Alchemy, use SQLite as we're using a SQLite database. And here you have to name the database and we're just naming that fundamentals.db. And when we're executing that, we are creating a database file, uh, which will be yeah, put in your current folder where you're running this script, all right? Okay, so it actually took around three to four minutes in my case. So let's take a look at the data frame here. You see, we have a lot of information here, right? We have over 100 columns and we have information like full-time employees, the sector, 
uh, country, state, company, officers, website, then 52 week low, bid, tradable, dividend yield, and so on, right? And what I want to do now, and this is optional, so you can store all those information in the SQLite database. But I want to make it as simple as possible, so I'm just slicing the data frame for the uh, information I'm interested in. Right? So I'm creating a sub data frame here, sub DF. I'm just slicing the data frame. I need the symbol to actually see, okay, uh, which stock has this particular metric. I need the dividend yield. I need the sector to filter for the particular sector as I presented in the beginning. And we need the short ratio I took the and both price earnings. Right, so forward PE and trailing PE. Okay. So let's take a look at the sub DF. This is our sub DF containing all uh, fundamental information for all those symbols here. So for all Dow Jones uh, stocks. Okay. And now we just have to write this data frame into a SQLite database. And we can do that by simply putting in to SQL then give the table name. So uh, fundamentals table, provide the engine. And as you see, we have an integer index here. So I want to ignore this integer index. So I just want to write in from this column on. Okay. Okay. And with that, we have uh, created a SQLite database containing our fundamental data, which we need to create the dashboard. Okay, so quickly before we are going into building the dashboard, so how can we access this data? We could use the read SQL function, then provide the table name here, uh, define the engine, and I want to have the index column as the symbol. So there we have a nice table here containing the symbol as the index and our fundamentals here as the columns. All right. All right, now let's create the dashboard. As you see, I switched to my IDE here. I'm using Spider, by the way. The only reason behind that is that I wanna work with plain Python files here. I've created a Python file, which I'm naming fundalit.py here. And within this file, I'm implementing the streamlit code. So first of all, we have to import streamlit, SST. We need pandas and we need SQL Alchemy. And first of all, we are giving the dashboard a title. So fundamentals comparison. And then we are connecting to the database. We've just created SQL Alchemy, create engine, same logic as before. So we're using SQLite and then provide the name of our just created database. And now we are creating a data frame using the read SQL function from pandas, provide the table name of the fundamentals table. We need to give it an engine here and the index column as our ticker symbols here. And with that, we're getting the data frame I just showed you in the other notebook. Now we are defining the first drop-down menu. I'm just storing that in a variable, drop-down one. Therefore, we are using a select box from Streamlit. Um, choose your sector as the label of this box. And then I just want to have all distinct values in the sector column. So I can just pick unique here. All right, so this is the first drop-down menu containing the sector and the second one, drop-down two. 
same select box here, then choose your metric. And here we just want to have all columns. So again, the columns are containing the fundamentals and we just want to have all columns except the sector column, right? Because we, we have already covered that here. So I'm just taking the columns and filter out um, the sector column sector. All right. So these are our two drop down variables. And now we just want to slice this data frame containing all the fundamentals for the pick drop down values here, right? So I'm just storing that in a variable. I'm calling that values might not be that appropriate. Um, you can call it whatever you like. And now I'm slicing for those two picks here. So I'm using the F. First of all, I'm slicing for the sector picked in drop down one. And then the metric picked in drop down two here. All right. And after that, I'm just visualizing that with a bar chart. Just use the bar chart function from Streamlit and provide the values. Okay, now very important, save it. Don't run it, save it. And then we can run it by using exclamation mark, streamlit run, and then the name of the plain Python file. So fundalit.py here. So if you're running that in your terminal, um, exclude the exclamation mark. Yeah, and that's basically it. So if we're running that, a browser window is opening up. So this is happening on my second screen and we have our dashboard here, right? Which I presented in the very beginning. And yeah, so I hope this was helpful for you or at least interesting. Um, play a bit around with that. So check your home market, uh, check a broader market, maybe check the fundamentals you are interested in, extend that. And I thank you very much for watching and I'm looking forward to seeing the upcoming videos. Bye bye.